cabal, no la escucho, tengo, tengo que comenzar a... Bueno, vamos a clase. Con el celular. Sí, cabal, ya comenzó. Hello, hello, how's it going? I'm sorry hello. for the interruption, people. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm fine. Good conversation. Good conversation. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your punctuality to be here in the class. I appreciate that really much. Let me see. We're going to get started. Today we have a really good practice talking about the, a good topic. And let me change all the, info, the necessary information. Right. Here is the info. Okay. We're going to begin as always, as you know, we check on the attendance. So when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are part of this video conference since the start. Thank you. Alejandra Gabriela Perez. Alejandra Gabriela, probably not at this moment, I continue. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Right, I continue. Azucena Enriquez de López. Present. Thank you so much. Let's see, Brian Joel Morrodas. Present. Thank you so much. Carolina Abigail Vázquez. Present. Thank you so much. Cindy Tatiana Vázquez. Cindy Tatiana, probably not at this moment. I continue. Uh, Cira Berfali Aguilar. Present. Thank you so much. Present. Thank you, thank you. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez, All right, I continue. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present. Esmeralda Janet Mendes. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Giselle Maria Hernandez. Present. Thank you, thank you. Indira Nirvana Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Ivania Guevara. Right, I continue. Josue Abraham Lopez. Josué Abraham, José Hernán Maravilla, Carla Guadalupe Pacheco, present, Thank you. Carla Lisette Méndez Granadino, Carla Lisette Méndez Granadino, right, I continue. Luis Daniel Rosa de León. Present, teacher. Thank you. <clears throat> Madeline Beatriz Morán. Present. Thank you. Uh, María José Sandoval. I guess she's not available at this moment. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Marlon Napoleón Fuentes. Present teacher. Perfect, perfect. Present. Thank you. Rina Estela Garcia. Present. Thank you, thank you. Rolando Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. Present. Thank you so much. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you so much. Tito Alberto Hernández. Tito 
Tito Alberto. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you. And Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate on your confirmation. Thank you so much and welcome everyone for today's class. Let me see. At this moment, we're going to check on some information for today. So uh, before we start, uh, I just want to remind you about the platform, please, if possible. Remember to work on section number four or homework number four, right? Some of you already finished the platform and that's really nice. Some others are still missing and that is still working on the platform. So my, my suggestion, right, is to complete on the platform. Felicitarles, I veo que más personas ya van progresando y terminando la plataforma y eso es muy bueno, así que les felicito. Otros van por ahí eh, progresando y otros van un poquito progresando, pero un pasito más lento. Así que solicitarles su colaboración. Eh, recordando que estamos en semana 3, nos falta eh, lo que resta de acá después de esta clase, martes, miércoles, jueves, ¿eh? y de ahí cuatro días y terminamos el curso. Así que animarles a por favor completar la plataforma lo más antes posible. Para esta semana, según el progreso sugerido, ya deberíamos tener la tarea 1, Homework 1, Homework 2, Homework 3, uh, The Midterm, el examen de medio curso, y ya la, la tarea 4 debería estar ya en progreso. Así que nada más eh, hacerles la invitación para que continuemos trabajando y así aprendiendo más de los contenidos del idioma inglés. All right? Let me see. Now we get into business, All right? Get into business for the class. Let's check on this one. Here is input. Let's check this. All right, people. Uh, can you see my presentation at this moment? Is it possible to see the presentation? Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes, yes teacher. Thank you so much for your confirmation. I ask you because sometimes I begin and I, I'm not sharing the screen. Les siempre les pregunto y gracias por, eh, por notificarme, darme su confirmación, que a veces yo feliz de estar proyectando la información y el alumno y, y teacher de qué está hablando. Yo bien feliz hablando, dando las instrucciones y nada que ver. Right? So thank you so much for your confirmation on this. We're going to check on colors on this one. That is one of the topics that we have to go over in the course. And I know that is a topic that you already know. So in this one, we're going to work on a different form to express colors. Take a look at this one. I am going to show you a short description about an animal. It could be about a plant. It could be about a fruit. And by that description, I want you to think about the possible color. Right, the possible color, we make reference. Take a look at this one. We work as a class at this moment. This is the example. It is a fruit, it is long, and it has a curved shape, right? Curve like that one, right? It's a fruit, long, and curve. That is the shape, no straight, right? No straight, it's curved. Talking about like this. What color? comes to your mind? Uh -huh. Yellow. 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 Ah, thank Yellow. you so much. Yellow. Perfect. And check, take a look at this one. If you were thinking about this one, you are perfect. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. Right? That is based on the description. It is a fruit. It is long. And it's a curved shape. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Check out the next one. Next description. It is a bird. It has long legs, right? Long, long legs. It usually stands on one leg. Talking about that one, imagine this is the bird, right? It stands on one leg the majority of the time, right? Talking about this one. What color can you think of? Huh? 
Pink. 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 Excellent. A ver, Sancuda. My goodness, you are really nice. Talking about this one. Pink flamingo. Y flamingo, perfect. <coughs> you, you are really good with riddles. <laughs> Son buenos para las adivinanzas, ya vi. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Take a look at the next one. It's a, it's a huge, really big. It's a huge animal. It has long ears, right? Long ears. This animal has good memory. What color are we talking about? <clears throat> Great. Great. Perfect. And what's the animal? It's a uh, elephant. 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 Perfect. Well done, people. It's an elephant. Nice, nice, nice. Take a look at the next one. It is a flower. It represents the color of love. You give this to someone special. What color can you think of? Red. Thank you. The color of passion. Rose. Excellent. In this one, we talk about the color red, right? The, the description makes reference to an object, and we think about the color, in this case, color red. That's fine. And as you mentioned, right. talking mm -hmm. about a rose. Thank you. Take a look at, the, at this one. It is a fruit. It has a round shape, right? Round shape. It is very juicy, right? A lot of water, right? It's juicy. Bastante jugosa esta fruta. It's juicy. It has a small black seeds inside. What color is it? Is it uh, outside of this fruit? Green. Orange. Green. Orange. Orange. Green. Orange. Mm -hmm. Red. Orange. The outside. The green, outside? Red. Pink, outside is pink. orange. Outside, green. All right. Tell, this is my, that is what I think of. In this case, I consider it green. But your description could be nice. Pueden existir otras frutas que caigan en esa descripción. No este es este eh, equivocado. It's possible. But at this moment, I was thinking about a watermelon, watermelon, right? That is what I was. A watermelon. Right? It's, watermelon. It's juicy, right? Bastante jugosa. Cuando se come sandía, hasta nos escurre por aquí el poco de sandía. Right? It's juicy. All right? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And take a look at this one. This is the last one. It is a small, round fruit. It is Purple. used to make wine. Purple. 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 Right. And yeah. what fruit is it? It's great. Great. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Well done. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much. Good job to think about the colors. Perfect. Perfect. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you so much. Now, this information of the color is useful when we talk about the clothing items. Remember yesterday we were checking a little bit about uh, the clothing items. And for this one, for today, we check on the present continuous statements. That is what we check on for today. Take a look at this one. I have a picture of a lady and I begin by saying a short description about what she's wearing. I mentioned the clothing item and I mentioned the color, right? A blue tie. And in the complete sentence, to give a description, she is wearing a blue tie. That is what I see on the picture at this moment. And I ask on collaboration at this moment, Miss Erika Vanessa Marroquin, tell me what is other description that you can say about this lady in the picture? She is wearing a blue tie. Right, she's wearing, uh, that is the information from the screen. Tell me other, please. Tell me other description. She's wearing a high heel. She's wearing high heels. Thank you so much. Thank you. Evelyn Ramos, other description about this lady in the picture, please. She's wearing a gray pants. All right, thank you. She is wearing gray pants. Thank you so much. 
Just double checking on this one. When the element is plural, a is not necessary. She is wearing gray pants. Fine. A gray pants, uh, no a, uh, right? Because it's plural. Thank you so much. Madeline Beatriz, tell me, tell me other description about the lady in the picture, please. <clears throat> She is wearing a uh, black pipes. Black, one more time, please. Um, tacones. Ah, high pipes. heels, uh-huh. Black high heels, all right. Thank you so much, thank you so much, that's fine. Remember when the element is plural, a uh, is not necessary. She is wearing black high heels. A uh, back, uh, black high heels, not necessary, no a. Uh. I is not necessary. Thank you. I continue asking for more information. Miss Rina Garcia, tell me more description about what she's wearing, please. Este, bueno, no sé cómo se dicen los anteojos de parasol. Sunglasses. And it is plural. Lo mencionamos, son glasses y es un elemento plural. Por lo tanto, no necesitamos a cuando nos referimos a ellos. Tell me, Rina, what's the description? She, she is wear, wearing, uh, she is wearing glass, glass son, son glasses, son, son, son glasses. glasses. Eh, solo una pregunta, este, para decir lentes, de normales a lentes de sol es lo mismo. En este caso solo quitamos la primera palabra en el nombre compuesto. Cuando decimos gafas de sol decimos sun glasses, ¿verdad? Como lentes de sol. Solo le quitamos la primera palabra y solo decimos glasses. Glasses. Ajá. Estos serían los lentes que normalmente nosotros conocemos, ya sea para lectura o si los ocupa ahí para verse más más good looking, right? It's possible. Right, if you want, it's possible to go like that. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Well, my pleasure, my pleasure. Let's continue. Uh, Giselle Hernandez, one final description about this lady on the picture, please. And she's wearing a white blouse. Right, thank you. She is wearing, in this case, when you talk about this one, listen, she's wearing a white blouse. A white, white blouse. blouse. In this case, a is necessary because we are talking about uh, something that is in singular, right? Singular, okay. you say a. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's do the opposite at this moment. The same picture. But at this moment, we are going to create a negative sentence to describe something that she is not wearing. And I need the collaboration of some people. And this is my example. She is not wearing a dress, right? She is not wearing a dress. That is what the information that I have. More people, let's see, Miss Azucena, tell me, a description of something she is not wearing in the picture. She is not wearing uh, uh, jeans. She is not wearing jeans. Thank you. Jeans is plural. Jeans is plural. Yes. She's not ah, okay. wearing jeans. Okay. She is not wearing jeans. Perfect, okay. Asisena. Thank you so much. Perfect. Perfect. Esmeralda Janet, tell me other description in the negative. She is not wearing. She's not wearing those, me escapó la palabra. Tell me, and I can help you. Dígame en ¿Cómo español. ¿Cómo se dice sombrero? Hat. She's not wearing hat. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Ruth Stephanie, other description, please, in the negative uh, form. She's not wearing uh, gloves. gloves. She's not wearing gloves. She's not gloves. wearing gloves. Exactly. Gloves, plural, no a. Uh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss uh, Sira Aguilar, other sentence in the negative, please. Uh, she's not wearing a 
She is not wearing a sneakers. She is not wearing sneakers. Sneakers, excellent. Sneakers. Ah, not necessary, perfect. That's fine, you see? That's the reason we have practice. Practice, practice. Thank you so much. Brian, tell me, tell me a sentence, mister. She is not wearing a sneaker. Ah, right. In this case, remember for the plural, ah is not necessary. She is not sneakers. wearing sneakers. Okay. Sneakers. Right. Thank you so much. Miss Carla, Carla Lisa Mendez. Hello, hello. She is not wearing a scarf. She is not wearing a scarf. Perfect. 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 She is not wearing a scarf. Thank you so much, people. Good participation. Take a look at this one. I have more practice for you, so don't worry on this info. Take a look at that man, right? And I have the initial sentence. That is my example. He is wearing white sneakers. He is wearing yes. white sneakers. Remember plural, no a, uh, right? A uh, uh is not necessary for this. And I ask on this one, let's see, Miss Carolina, Abigail Vasquez, tell me a sentence in the affirmative with the object she he's wearing. Thank you. He is wearing a blue t-shirt. A blue t-shirt. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you. I continue asking. Mm -hmm. Let me see other person. Uh, Carla Guadalupe Pacheco, tell me other sentence to describe this man talking about the clothing items. He is wearing uh, pants brown. All right, thank you so much. Just check on the order. In the color, the color is the first element, brown pants. Right. Mm. Check on the color. Thank you so much. That is different from what we express in mm -hmm. our language because in Spanish mm -hmm. we mention the object and the second element is the color. Right? That is in Spanish. But in English, we change the order. Color, object, white shirt, brown pants, uh, black shoes. Mm -hmm. That is the order in the English, in the mm -hmm. English language. Thank you so much. I continue asking any this moment. Uh, Indira, tell me other information, please, in the affirmative to describe this man. Glasses, dark sunglasses. He's wearing sunglasses. He's wearing sunglasses. Thank you so much. Now, take a look at this one. We go for the negative, and this is my example. He is not wearing shorts, right? He is not wearing shorts. Now, Xiomara Alejandra, tell me a sentence in the negative form, please. He's not wearing um, a hat. All right, thank you so much, thank you so much. I continue asking people, Tito, tell me a negative sentence for this person. He is not wearing? He is not wearing coat. He's not wearing... One more time, please. He is not wearing cloth. coat. 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 Right. In this case, when you uh, when you refer to something in singular, it is possible to include a. Right. In this case, it's the opposite. He is wearing. He is not wearing a coat. A in coat. this case, because we mentioned only one element. Right. A coat. In this one, it's possible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I continue. Uh, asking more people so you can participate at this moment. Let me see. Miss Fatima del Carmen, tell me a negative sentence for this man, please. He's not wearing shoes. Shoes, all right, all right. And Rolando, I don't know if you have the chance to participate. He's not wearing tie. All right, he's not wearing a tie. A tie. Excellent, excellent. Mariana, tell me other negative sentence to talk about this person. He's not wearing a chap. All right, thank yeah. you. A jacket, thank you. Perfect, perfect. A he's jacket. Not, 
Thank you. He is not wearing a jacket. Thank you. Ana Ivania, I need other negative sentence to describe this person, please. Um, he is not wearing um, boots. Boots. Boots, okay. All right, he is not wearing boots. Perfect, boots. thank okay. you so much. Thank you so much, perfect, perfect. Now, is there any question about this info at this moment? Questions, questions? No question. No question, no question. teacher. No right. question. No question. Thank right. you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, it's very understandable, right? Yes. Entendible la situación. De repente, el clima nos puede afectar con conexión. Espero que podamos mantenernos siempre en la sesión ¿verdad? y tal vez poder participar. Si no, igualmente, pues eh, tratemos siempre de estar por acá para no perder, en este caso, el tiempo de conexión, ¿verdad? Así que estamos siempre conectados por acá y si gustan, después recuérdense que tenemos las grabaciones de estas videoconferencias para que usted pueda reforzar la información que hemos discutido en la clase. Pero muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the information. All right, let me see on this one. When you talk about the, the present continuous tense, it is important to know about the, all the necessary elements to express a sentence in a correct way. For example, on this one, this should be like the necessary elements to consider. When you mention this structure, we have to include always and all the time. We need a subject. We need the verb. We need, uh, in this case, specifically the verb to be, right? The verb to be. And the next one, you talk about the action. In this case, we are uh, focusing on where in the ING, right? Wearing. And finally, you have a complement, right? That, that should be all the, uh, the necessary elements that we need to include. Take a look at this one. That is just for you to have a review about the simple present using the verb to be. Remember you say, I am, you are, he is, she is, we are, they are. And in this case, we accompany the verb to be with the verb wearing. That is what you talk. And then you describe on the objects of the person. It is possible to describe the clothes and it is possible to, to mention the different accessories of the person. For example, bracelet, necklace, glasses, all of them are, are accessories, but it is possible to make reference to them in the same structure, right? No problem. If you talk about the watch, you can use the same structure in this context. All right. Because there are no questions at this moment, we are going to have a speaking practice. And let me show you what the practice is. At this moment, we're going to be working in small groups, probably three people in one group. And we are going to describe what your classmate is wearing. And also you are going to describe what your classmate is not wearing. Affirmative and negative sentences. For example, let's imagine I work with Julia and I say, Julia, right? Be based on, on, the, on the camera, right? That we're going to take advantage of the camera. Ya que tenemos acceso a nuestras cámaras, vamos a utilizarlas, ¿verdad? Para por lo menos eh, tener una, una perspectiva de lo que la persona está vistiendo en este momento. And we are going to report affirmative sentences. And also you can report on negative sentences. For example, where uh, Julia is wearing a dress, Julia is wearing glasses, and negative sentences as well. Julia is not wearing high heels. Julia is not wearing a skirt. And you report on this information, please, right? Uh, questions about this practice? Questions, questions about no what question. we do? No question, teacher. All right. No thank you, thank no you so question. much. Just double check on something. Just for the upper part is good, right? 
no se vaya a sentir comprometido a levantarse de repente o y darle una vuelta al compañero para modelarle, no se vaya a preocupar, tranquilo, que tal vez algunos estamos solo en short y que solo de acá va, y de repente me levanto y se me olvidó que andaba en short, híjole, vaya. No, no, te es sabio, la... te sabio. Ah, ya ve, pues ya ve. Como de aquí para acá, vemos de aquí para abajo, no sabemos. <laughs> so, no problem, right? So that is what we do. We give a short description, right? We give a short description. You see the person and then you make your comments. And also create negative comments. También lo importante es reportar algo en negativo porque usted fácilmente identifica lo que la persona no está vistiendo, right? He is not wearing a hat. He is not wearing glasses. And then you go like that. So you make a description about your classmates, right? Any question? No question. No, no question, question, right? Perfect. No question. Thank you, no thank question. you. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me create on the groups, please. All right. At this moment, I am going to create the, the small rooms and I want you please to practice and to give as many details as possible. Please, please, please. Let me see. Oh, so sorry, Miss Claudia. Yo sé que muchos están eh, comentando que tienen interferencia y créanme que no es bonito tal vez uno querer estar pendiente y que no se escuche tan bien el audio. Pero tal vez, espero yo que eh, mejore la conexión. De repente la, la situación climática puede cambiar y el servicio a restablecerse correctamente y podamos participar. Igualmente, por eso vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. Así de repente, si nos quedamos uno a uno, puede que de repente no, alguien no tenga conexión y se me vaya a quedar solito y no es ese el objetivo. All right. So, at this moment, we get started and I check on you and give you feedback if necessary. Right, thank you so much. Let's begin working. Gonzalo también. Hi. Hi, hi. Para usted, eh, señora Sandra. Eh, Sandra, ¿is wearing a blue? Sí. Eh, sí. No, no le escucho bien. Yeah. Repeat, for, pl for please. Repeat, please. Uh -huh. Sandra, ¿is wearing a. Uh, Miren. A sweater. A sweater. A sweater. All right. Mm. I know wearing sweater. No sweater. <laughs> no sweater. <laughs> Aquí en, en San Miguel estamos en un horno. <laughs> oh, interesting. Ah, that's the reason. Falta de aclaración. Ya entendimos por qué, no, hombre. Me imagino. Right? And that is all the day, Sandra. All the day is hot. Todo el tiempo. All, right, all the time. All right. That's why at this moment I see that you are wearing a, a top, right? Como un centro, yeah. ¿verdad? 
more comfortable, right? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Continue with the practice, people. Try to describe what the person is wearing at this moment. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Marlo wearing a blue t-shirt. No, my my teacher is black. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Believe me, I I, I don't blue. look the the color. <laughs> For me, no, it's no. blue. <laughs> but it's black. It's black. Oh my goodness! Okay. Interesting. Ah, interesting. Thank you. Continue working. Thank you so much, and remember Marlo. to report on that one. Thank you so much. Okay. Any <laughs> problem? Hello, 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 hello. hello. How's it going? Excellent. Aquí practicando. Practicing. Practicing. Excellent. Uh, Evelyn, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I'm wearing. Uh, pink. Pink shirt. Ah, okay. Pink shirt. Okay. Shirt. Shirt. Ah. Uh, Carla, what are you wearing? I am wearing. Um, I am. Oh, I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. I uh -huh. uh, brown blue brown, brown blouse uh, blues. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All right. Cafe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. A brown blouse. No, no, no. Orlando, are you wearing a pants? Black, black pants? Black pants? I guess Rolando is, is frozen at this moment. Creo que se nos congeló la imagen de Rolando. Quizás problemas de conexión. All right. Sí. Ah, yeah. Ah, se fue. Okay. Sí. All right. Continue okay. in this one. And remember to give us the... Ah, regreso. Okay. Hey, he's back. Se, Excellent. Se, se me desconectó. No, hombre, yo vi que Rolando se nos quedó así viendo bien serio y decía, Rolando ya no va a decir algo. Y que si congelado se había quedado Freeze. la imagen. Freeze. Sí, me, sac <laughs> me sacó y me entró otra vez. All right. Thank you so así much. Que no... Thank you. Okay, no escuché Thank nada. But continue with Dejero. the practice. Thank you so much. Good job, okay. people. Thank you. Okay. Gracias. La verdad no sé. Pero podemos repetir, pienso yo. Okay. Ahora yo la describo a usted y usted a Ciomar. Ah, okay. Okay, empiezo. Claudia is wearing. No. ¿Verdad cuando es este.? Plural de anteojo tiene que estar ah, no. Sí, no necesario, ah, ¿verdad, sí. teacher? Uh, sí es necesario. Eh, en, uh -huh. en, en, en plural. Para el plural, en, en A, en, es a en, uh -huh. en este ah, caso, cuando hacemos Claudia, referencia ah. a algo plural, no necesitamos el A. Por ejemplo, si, yo quis, si usted quisiera hablar de eh, que Claudia en este momento está utilizando glases, Deberíamos decir, Claudia is wearing glasses, sin necesidad de utilizar el A. ¿Por qué no utilizamos el A? Porque el A tiene un contexto de número, de cantidad, como decir uno o un. ¿verdad? Entonces, lentes se considera plural, entonces ahí ya, no nos, ah, ya la información no hace juego, como decir un lentes, similarmente para zapatos, shoes, sneakers. Si no dijéramos un zapatos, ¿verdad? Igualmente con jeans, jeans se considera plural, así tal cual, aunque nosotros solo vemos que es un par, ¿verdad? No es que tenga dos pares puestos, pero se considera en plural. Uh -huh. Entonces, en ese caso, nosotros reportamos, uh, por ejemplo, Claudia is wearing jeans. El A en ese caso no sería necesario cuando los elementos son plurales. Uh -huh. okay. ok, thank you. Yeah. 
My pleasure. Claudia is wearing glasses. Uh -huh. And Claudia is not wearing sweater. A sweater, uh huh. And Claudia is wearing purple gloves. A purple, uh huh. And Claudia is not wearing a, a sandal. <laughs> Is not wearing sandals. Uh, is that correct? Miss Claudia, you're not wearing sandals? Correct. Okay, sneaker. No Sneakers, <laughs> excellent. Don't worry, you don't have to show it. No, no, no se preocupe, no tiene que mostrarlo, ¿verdad? En, un, en, una, en una sala, eh, ya, yo vi que ya se quería levantar y toda la cosa. Y no, me relax, les digo yo, no, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, people. Continue working hard. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank Xiomara, you, teacher. Is, Xiomara is wearing a kitchen. Okay. No, I'm uh, not. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Watching uh, you. <laughs> no, this... <laughs> okay. Teacher, ya todos participamos, teacher, teacher. teacher Excellent. is wearing uh, one, one shirt. Ah, and what color is it? Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. ah. Uh, a shirt. Why? A white. A shirt. Right? A, shirt. A, shirt. A, shirt. a white shirt. shirt. How do you say? How do you say eh, 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 rayado o, o, o estampado? Algo uh -huh. así. In this case, you say stripe. ¿Cómo, how do you say? Stripe. 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 Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And that, that is a giving okay. extra information, right? Teacher, Tell uh -huh. me, Peter. Teacher is wearing uh -huh. short. Mm -hmm. Short. Mm -hmm. Short. 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 Um, no. <laughs> ah, no, I am wearing jeans. I am, no, no, no. I am wearing pants, right? Formal, pantalón formal. Okay. Yes, okay. come on. <laughs> what do you think, Tito? <laughs> ¿Usted cree que en short estoy dando la clase, Tito? Come on. It's a secret. It's a secret. Nobody knows. Nadie sabe. Dejémoslo en incógnita. No, but the complete outfit. Ando el traje completo ahí, bien formal. No problem. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Okay. You can report on negative sentences as well, if possible, right? For example, you go negative. For example, uh, Ana is not wearing a hat, right? So something yeah. that she is not wearing. And you can go for the negative part of the structure as well, right? Is there okay. any question at this moment for the practice? Mm -hmm. No question. No. No. All right. Thank you so much. Continue practicing. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Erika is not wearing. Porque es plural. Okay. Mm. We are not wearing a dress. Okay. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Mariana is not wearing a skirt. Okay, yes. yes. Um, Sira is not wearing a, a scarf. A scarf. Bufanda. Bufanda. Fatima is wearing a red cup. A red <laughs> um, People continue, please, please. Mariana is not wearing a coat. Oh. Yes. Cups. Cups. Oh, all right. Mariana is not wearing a swimsuit. A swimsuit? Ah, we don't know. Probably under. Tal vez abajo anda ya lista, pues no, nunca sabe. Por si se le atraviesa en la piscina, diga usted. It's, it's wearing a pijama, le va a decir que a a a... No problem. Hay que andar listo, ¿verdad? Como ahí, chis. de repente se me atraviesa un rillito, una piscina por ahí. 
<risa> no problem. Always ready. Con la lluvia. Con la, la lluvia. lluvia. Exacto. Ya ve que mire cuando, por lo menos acá por donde yo vivo, hay ciertos sectores que se inundan con ganas. Así que ya listo. No, ¿Quién dijo miedo? <risa> Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Good job, people. Continue working. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ay, eh, Alejandra is wearing a yellow black a short, black short. Alejandra is not Alejandra is wearing a shirt. Uh, Carolina is wearing a black blouse. Is Carolina is, is wearing is wearing uh, glasses. Carolina is not wearing a hat. Carolina is not wearing a uh, scarf. Carolina is not wearing a cap. Eh, Carolina, Carolina is not wearing a short. Thank you, thank you. Hello, nice job. Thank you. Ruth is, is wearing a white shirt. Tie. Ruth is not wearing a as Hi, Giselle. Hello, hello. Hola. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Thank yes, you. Welcome, welcome back, everyone, to the main room. Thank you so much for the time and the practice. Now, just to finish and double check in on this one, we are going to work in the final group activity. In this one, I am going to describe one person and I am going to make a description about what the person is wearing. You are going to see the person and you are going to tell me the name of the person, right? Based on the description, right? Let's give it a try at this moment. Let's see. Uh, this person is wearing a purple shirt. This person is wearing glasses. And this person is wearing white headphone is Claudia. Claudia excellent thank you so much perfect perfect now Claudia it's your turn choose a person from the class make a description and we try to guess who the person is Uh, just check on the microphone, Miss Claudia, please, so we can listen to you. Thank you so much. Okay. Is wearing a uh, is wearing white t-shirt. Is she is wearing uh, audífonos? Uh, blue blue audífonos. Blue headphones. Sorry, sorry, blue headphones. You see it Blue happens. headphones. Blue headphones. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie. Is Ruth. <laughs> Ruth Stephanie. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank uh, you so much. Claudia, yeah. it, that's great. Blue headphones. Yo voy a decirle blue headphones. Head headphones. Y no me había fijado que mi micrófono <laughs> estaba apagado. Y yo voy bien emocionado. <laughs> headphones, headphones and nothing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Usted me soplaba. 
Mire, no yo exacto, mire, <laughs> queriendo le ayudar y nada más. Thank you. Sorry for that. <laughs> ya oh, ven, ah. suele pasar. Thank you. Thank It's you. Ruth. Thank you. Ruth, that is your turn. Take a look at one of your classmates. Make a description. In this case, say this person, right? That is more general. This person, right? Okay. Like we listen to you. Uh, this person uh, is wearing a pink blouse. Uh, has a curly hair. Uh, this person is wearing a headphones, white headphones. Um, I, I can't see any more. <laughs> That's it, all right. Uh, Madeline. It's Madeline. Yes, she is. <laughs> Madeline. Perfect, thank <laughs> you. Miss, Miss Madeline. Miss Madeline, thank you so much. Madeline, now it's your time. Take a look at your classmate and create a description, right? This person is wearing, and you go like that, please. Teacher, tengo yes. problemas de conexión y no logro ver, no, ver este, la imagen de todos. No problem, all right. No problem at this moment. No problem, right? No se preocupe, tal vez como usted lo menciona, es problema de conexión y tal vez no tiene acceso para ver a sus compañeros. Madeline, choose other classmate. Entonces, escoja mi un voluntario para que participe también y que esta persona haga la descripción. Mm. Rolando. Excellent. Thank you, Rolando. It's your turn. Make a description, Mr. Rolando. Please. Mm -hmm. This person is uh, is wearing his uh, black white headphone. Mm -hmm. Is, is wearing, she's wearing glasses. Uh, no, pero let's nada más. Glasses, glasses is glasses. okay. Mm -hmm. She's wearing glasses. Uh, te voy a dar un acercamiento. <laughs> Careful, uh, right? Solamente eso aparece. All right, no problem, no problem. Thank you, right? Sí. Who is the person? Yeah. Alejandra. Yeah. Alejandra Gabriel. Excellent, <laughs> thank you. Excellent, thank you. Perfect, perfect. Excellent, thank you. Alejandra, let's do the last practice. Choose one person from the video conference and make a description about what the person is wearing, please. Okay. He is wearing jacket blue. A blue jacket. Mm -hmm. Camisa, no. Uh, shirt. Camisa, t shirt. A blue, a blue shirt. A blue shirt. Entonces, he is wearing a blue shirt. Shirt. Mm -hmm. He is wearing half headphones. Mm -hmm. Black. Black headphones. Black Marlon. Hair Marlon. 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 Is it Marlon? It's Marlon. It's Marlon. All right. Marlon, tell them the surprise. Di, cuéntenles la sorpresa cuando le dijimos que era blue shirt. It's black. No blue. Black. Black. Exactly. That was the surprise, right? I was checking on the group and they we mentioned blue. Blue. Ah, you see for the yeah, light. Yeah. Ah, that's different, right? The same happened to us. Exactly. It happened to the group. Uh -huh. Thank you. Así pasó con el grupo que estaba chequeando y estaba trabajando con él. Todos le decían a Blue Shirt y el malo, no, it's not blue. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Perfect, perfect. Well done. Uh, before we finish, is there any question about this information that we're covering in today's session? Any question? Uh, any question? 
Questions, questions. I have a question, teacher. Go ahead, tell me. Uh, uh, a mí por problemas de conexión no, no puedes uh, ver bien la forma. Yo ayudé, participé con las compañeras ahí en, la, en, los, en las salas, pero no sé bien la forma de responder al, a la pregunta de, de wording. Ah, ok, no problem. Ajá, ajá, no, o sea, tal vez me puedes explicar algo rápido, es que uh -huh. no, por problemas de conexión no, no pude. Uh, just going back to this one, no problem, right? In this one, this should be the structure that we can use. We include a subject, we include the verb to be, then the verb wearing, and the complement. As an example, I show you, uh, this is a review. I am, you are, he is, she is, we are, and they are. And in, in all of them, we make use of the, of the verb wearing. And then the complement wearing. is what you see, right? Wearing a black shirt, wearing blue shoes, wearing a black cap, and then you can talk about all the elements that the person is wearing. But basically, this should be the form to answer. Okay, okay. All right, perfect, perfect. And... Uh, Tito, tell me. Eh, básicamente, lo que la oración eh, menciona es como narrar cómo vemos a alguien, si no me equivoco, no es una pregunta. En uh, este caso, yes. Podría ser, pero si en el caso a alguien le preguntaran, ¿verdad? Eh, también las mismas oraciones nos sirven como respuesta, ¿verdad? En este caso lo estábamos viendo como eh, oraciones afirmativas, pero si existiese una pregunta, eh, la misma estructura utilizamos ah, para okay. eso. ¿ajá? Ah, si ok. Me... okay si te... Solo le agregaríamos el, eh, el signo. Uh, si fuera pregunta, hacemos una, uh, por ejemplo, what, utilizamos WH question. What is Pablito wearing? Okay. Ajá, y de ahí respondemos de forma afirmativa. He is wearing. Okay. And you go like that. Thank, thank, you, thank you. you. My pleasure, mister. My pleasure. All right, people. Quisiera preguntar algo. Go ahead. Una curiosidad que te... Go ahead. Por, no problem. Porque, eh, por ejemplo, en la película Men in Black, uh -huh. porque usa el in o cuando la canción de Lady in Red. Lady in Ajá, Red. Ajá, porque usa in... Ajá, no dice, anda. Ajá, no. Ah, no sé. Ok, no problem. ¿Cuál es el uso del in uh -huh. en esa? ¿Y por qué no dice que está usando? Por ejemplo, no dice hombres que usan traje negro, no que uh -huh. solo se limita hombres de negro. O right. la chica de rojo. La chica de rojo. In this case, it is other possibility to, to express, right? That is other construction. No es algo incorrecto. Uh -huh. Nada más es cómo utilizar los elementos en un diferente orden y nada más le incluimos una preposición, tal vez para ser enfático, tal vez si fuera el contexto. Por ejemplo, imagínense que me dicen, hey, look at that woman, mira esa mujer, which one? Ahí se me dice, the lady in red, right? En ese caso, mencionamos tal vez no el artículo o no hacemos referencia a la ropa roja, ¿verdad? No es una camisa roja sino que hablamos más que todo del color, como que predominara más ese elemento antes de la ropa. Entonces, la, como diciendo, la que anda de rojo o, o la de azul. ¿verdad? Entonces, en ese caso, es que lo han utilizado de esa forma para hacer cierto énfasis y enfocarse más en el color, no tanto en el artículo de ropa que la persona está utilizando. Gracias. My pleasure. All right. People, let's check an attendance at this moment. Vamos a chequear asistencia y después de terminar asistencia quedamos despedidos. Listen to this one. Alejandra Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Azucena Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Brian Joel Morrodas. Present. Thank you. Carolina Abigail Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. All right, not at this moment. Cira Berfalia Aguilar. Present. Thank you so much. And Present. Remember, remember, Cira, the swimsuit. Acuérdese el traje de baño, Cira. Ya ven, ahí lo estemos en la práctica. <laughs> Thank you. 
I continue. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Poison teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Cindy. Muchas gracias por su confirmación ahí por el chat. Me imagino que pueden existir ciertos problemas de conexión. No problem. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Janet Méndez. Esmeralda Janet. All right, continue. Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you so much. Giselle Maria Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Indira Nirvana Hernandez. Indira. All right, I continue. Ana Ivania Guevara. Present. Thank you so much. Jose Hernan Maravilla, I guess he's not available. Hey, Josue no, no, Abraham no. Lopez. Hey. Josue Abraham Lopez. Not at this moment. Uh, Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carla Lizet Mendez. Present. Thank you so much. Luis Daniel Rosa. Amor, contestar. Present teacher. Thank you so much for the notification. Ah, es que no les hablé bonito, por eso es que no me contestan. Thank you so much. No problem, no problem. Next time, a la siguiente sí les voy a hablar más bonito. Don't worry. No problem, thank you. Madeline Beatriz Morán. Thank you so much. Yes, Maria yes. Jose. Thank you. Thank you. Maria Jose, not available at this moment. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Marlon Napoleon Fuentes. Present. Ah, yo pensé que estaba esperando yes, Marlon que le dijera ahí también. Uh, <laughs> no, amor, no. <laughs> Ya ven, aprendemos, aprendemos y nos divertimos, ya ven, nos desestresamos acá, thank you. I love you, contestar. Excelente. Thank you. I continue. Rina Estela García. Rina, hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. I see that she's here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Rolando Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. Present. Thank you, thank you. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you so much. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. And Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Present teacher. All right. So thank you so much for your confirmation. I appreciate your punctuality and the effort to be in the class. Les agradezco por su puntualidad y por el esfuerzo de estar siempre en la clase. A ver, por lo menos aprendemos y nos desestresamos un ratito, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que yo espero, que aprendamos y que llevemos unas buenas experiencias, ¿ok? Thank you so much. Have a good night and a perfect day good tomorrow. Night. And see you next good time. Night. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. 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 Good night.